Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm actually honored to be here uh, because we are about to announce two of the most exciting products that LG has launched today. So um, these uh, products, as Dr. Park mentioned, include both the Optimus 3D and the Optimus uh, Pad. Let's just start first with the LG Optimus 3D, our next uh, flagship smartphone device. Before we go into the details, let me just allow me to do a reflection on what has been the performance war of the last few years. As you can see, consumers are wanting all the time to do more and more with their smartphones, and manufacturers have been trying to increase the clock speed of those processors to meet those demands. Last year, for example, we had one gigahertz based smartphones as probably the standard in the high end of the smartphone space. But this year, with the introduction of dual core processor based smartphones, the bar has been raised once again. So we're saying that in 2011, we will see the smartphone 2.0 era. So actually, LG has been the first to introduce the first device of this smartphone 2.0 era, with the LG Optimus 2X. When we announced this product earlier this year in CS show in Las Vegas, the, the, the device created such a phenomenal online buzz, but it's also helped consumers to focus their minds on performance moving forward as one of the key uh, factors of a successful and outstanding smartphone. So, you may, you may ask, is this dual-core technology and this performance war, is this really needed for consumers? What we believe in LG is this is the case. Actually, with a dual-core enabled technology smartphone, consumers will be able to um, browse the web faster, for example, by loading the page at a faster speed. They will be able to seamless, seamlessly toggle between multiple tasks. They will be able to enjoy high-quality gaming, no lag, and, and also enjoy uh, high-definition movies and content in the device. But that's what we say, that the LG Optimus 2X is a phenomenal Device. It's a phenomenal smartphone which raises the bar of the experience to, to uh, mobile users. But we're not here to talk about Optimus 2X. What we're here to talk is what is the next step. So, how can we further enhance this consumer experience? And this is with the introduction of the LG Optimus 3, the world first dual core, dual channel dual memory form. Let's have a look to the next video to understand a bit more what this product is all about. There once was a factory with a small production capacity. And as more orders came in, the factory required more workers. So they extended the facility. The production increased. However, the factory did not fare well, since two plants shared one conveyor belt. So they extended the conveyor belt system. Now the distribution could handle the increased amount of production, and the factory operated with great efficiency. LG believes that smartphones are just like manufacturing plants, and to fully utilize the performance of a dual-core processor, the device needs to be supported by two channels. So LG Optimus 3D is not a single core, single channel smartphone, nor a dual core, single channel smartphone. Oh no, it's the world's first dual core, dual channel smartphone. Compared to other smartphones, Optimus 3D is significantly faster and has a superior graphic quality. So it's no wonder that the phone shows unparalleled performance when playing games, zooming in on images, 
and downloading content-heavy websites, right? In addition, you can enjoy clear pictures with the 4.3-inch display, make your own 3D videos, and share them on YouTube, 3D laptops, and televisions. Optimus 3D also supports Full HD with DLLA and HDMI systems, and is even equipped with features that minimise battery consumption. This is LG Optimus 3D, the world's first dual-core, dual-channel smartphone with full 3D features. LG Optimus 3D. Hope you liked it. So LG Optimus 3D is the world first dual core, dual channel, dual memory architecture smartphone. So this tri-dual architecture is making the LG Optimus 3D a truly super fun. I mean, it's unparalleled performance compared to other devices in the market. But don't take my word for granted on this. I mean, of course you can go and visit our LG booth after the press event and, and see by yourselves when uh, you go to the booth there's uh, quite a few demo cases where you can prove the performance but um, the best way to actually demonstrate uh, the super performance of this device is by utilizing one of the most commonly accepted performance tests which is the Quadron benchmark test and as you can see not only LG Optimus 3D excels compared to any other competitive device that is currently available in the market. But it, I think this is a proof of its super performance and, and impressive in speed. What we have prepared as well is another uh, demo scenario for you to see. In this case, we're comparing the LG Optimus 3D with a competitive device when they're trying to download a resource-intensive website which contains quite a few high-quality pictures. In this case, we've chosen Sky Sports um, as one example. And as you can see, the LG Optimus 3D is already finished and it's significantly faster than its competitor, uh, which is still thinking about um, loading the page. So, so basically, the LG Optimus 3D is not only a technology leap, it's also providing tangible consumer benefits to, um, when it comes to faster web browsing, when it comes to enjoying um, multimedia for longer, and most importantly, to enable a full 3D proposition to devices, thanks to this tri dual architecture. So, I think we've talked enough about the performance aspect of this device, and its dual core, dual channel, dual memory architecture. This is why we call the device Optimus 3D with these 3Ds, but this is not the only reason. The other reason is because it's got a full 3D proposition. So you're able to record, view, and share 3D content. So what I'm going to show you now is uh, a few use cases on how a 3D enabled device can actually enhance consumers' lives. Let's have a look, and then we'll continue the discussion. <laughs> who are too busy to visit the showroom. This is the new 2011 D300. Wow, it's so realistic in 3D. Can I see other models? Sure. Take your time. We've got cars in various styles and sizes. I like this one. It's got a great design. 
Oh, that's a great choice. I'll drop the contract then. Mm -hmm. 3D. It's better for real. I can't understand how it's done just by watching it on TV. Oh, right. Let me check out Pop Mr. D. This use case is might seem a bit futuristic and not very uh, real, but the reality is actually with the LG Optimus 3D, this is no longer just an idea. So before we explain the 3D technology and the innovation that LG has brought uh, to the mobile industry with this device, let me just make a quick reflection about what does 3D mean to you? So, and most importantly, what does 3D mean in a mobile environment? So I think for most of the people in this audience, uh, one of our best or the first 3D experience has been in a, in a movie theater, watching a blockbuster movie like Avatar. By the way, uh, Avatar was sponsored by LG Mobile globally. Um, I think the, the, the key question is, how can we bring this breakthrough innovation in a smartphone? And how can we overcome the drawbacks that um, the perceived drawbacks of 3D so that consumers can take the 3D content with them anywhere, anytime. So, the first point is definitely getting rid of those glasses. I mean, those glasses are not really the most com comfortable thing in the world and, and consumers are not going to carry those with them when they are on the go. So, LG, as an innovator and a proven innovator in the display, uh, technology has done it once again with the LG Optimus 3D. So we are introducing the world first auto stereoscopic 3D screen, which enables consumers to watch 3D content without the need of glasses. The second point, of course, is self created content is paramount to uh, contribute to the um, creation of the 3D mobile industry to reach a critical mass of 3D content. So, what LG Optimus 3D introduces is the possibility to record 3D thanks to its two 5 megapixel cameras in the back. Of course, 5 megapixel camera is just not enough. The dual core, dual channel door memory architecture has enabled the task optimization solution to enable the 2D to 3D conversion. When people are recording in 3D, <coughs> the LG Optimus 3D introduces a real-time adjustment proprietary technology which enables consumers to watch in 3D simultaneously what they're recording. So they're able to control the 3D depth through a very simple user interface scenario and they are satisfied with what they're recording as well. Obviously, this is half of the story if you can only keep those 3D content for yourself. So the sharing aspect is key as well. And the device is able to communicate and to share that content either via an HDMI 1.4 interface with a 3D TV or wirelessly with a DLNA enabled device. Um, but regarding the entire content ecosystem, we believe the LG Optimus 3D will act as a catalyst to create the 3D mobile industry. So the fact that consumers can actually record their own 3D content will create an abundance of this content which will stimulate content providers and operators to distribute this content uh, across multiple devices, which in, in turn will increase the demand for, for this 3D technology in this space. What I would like to uh, 
introduce to you today as well is um, a strategic partnership we have secured with YouTube so that our consumers can seamlessly upload 3D content from their device directly to the YouTube 3D channel with one click. And they can also watch the content that is being uploaded by others in the, 3D, in the dedicated YouTube uh, 3D client in the device.